to my very special guests tonight. I really appreciate that. Very, very proud of Jacinta and Colin and you guys are absolutely amazing. And uh, the girls for coming as well on such late, you know, last minute notice. I appreciate that as well. They were fantastic. So as I said, I uh, just released a, I don't like to call it a best of because that stresses me out immensely. But um, it's a so far. So for me, it's chapter one. Hopefully there's uh, many, many more chapters. I, uh, I just kind of wanted to sum up everything so far and it wasn't until I looked back over my career and all of the singles I've released and, you know, five albums in, I realised, yeah, I could put together this uh, this so far sort of thing and, and do it, uh, you know, really, really, uh, really, it was 20-something singles over the years. And this one in particular, I remember writing it. I um, had this idea, I used to, write songs based on what my heroes sang about, because I had no bloody idea. I was 14, 15. I didn't, you know, wasn't drinking. I should point that out, because I talk about drinking in this song. I wasn't drinking. I uh, wasn't hanging out in bars, except for gigs, wasn't I? That's true. But I um, kind of wrote this song, I guess, as a little bit of an introduction to the world. It was my first album that I released when I was 16, called Dusty Smiles and Heartbreak Cures, and I wanted to stand out from everybody else and kind of write that song that made me different. So I came out with this, and uh, it's called Hillbilly Pickin' the Ramblin' Girl. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah.
like it. I like it. Thank you very much. Hey, I spent a fair bit of my career over in Nashville, Tennessee, in the States. Uh, I moved over there when I was about 17 years old. After that debut album, I kind of um, had some things happen and take off and allowed me the opportunity to go over there and sign to Sony BMG. Uh, RCA Records was what I was on. And um, I don't think I, I, you know, until this point in my life, I wasn't really comfortable really discussing, you know, how hard that was um, for me at the time. I was, like, so lucky and so fortunate and had the best time of my life. But I also had, you know, the worst times of my life as well. Um, missing home, missing Australia, missing my family, not really knowing what the hell I was doing over there. Um, I was really young and um, started finding that found myself drinking uh, a fair bit actually while I was over there and uh, making some mistakes and I uh, wrote this song all about it. It was actually my third single over in the US and then when I moved time we uh, released it here in Australia as well. So, here it is.
Thanks very much. Cheers. I, uh, I remember this next song. I just looked at the set and we came home from America to do a few tours. I was pretty much spending 11 months of the year living in the US, coming home and doing a month here um, and just having the, you know, the touring the whole time I was home. So I didn't really get to see my folks and my family all that much. But I loved it because it was such a such an exciting time in music. It felt like you could go out and tour and heaps of people would come to gigs and you know, you'd, uh, you'd just have the best times and you could afford to go out and do it. And um, this song, I remember Glenn Wilson back there on the drums. Uh, we actually had a, a basically the Sam Hawksley band, uh, plus my fiddle player from the States at the time who'd flown over to, uh, to do the tour with me. She now plays with Taylor Swift, so whatever. She chose wrong. <laughs> What else? Uh, <laughs> but she, uh, she's great. Um, but no, we, we had the best time and we, we did this venue in, where was that? In Melbourne somewhere. Yeah. Traralgon, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's this really wacky venue that has, um, it's like a disco, right? So it has all these um, mirror balls hanging from the ceiling, like hundreds of them, one big one in the middle, and then this dance floor that lights up. And we thought it would be really stupid because we were being really stupid the whole tour, having a good time. And we thought we'd make a film clip. So we made uh, this really dorky film clip. I'm dancing in the camera, you know, pretending to be sexy. And I don't do that very well, but I'm just being an idiot. You know, Sam Hawksley's in the background doing these ones. We put it up online, well, Glenn put it up online, and man, the controversy we got from that, that video, you, you were devastated. Because everyone's like, I can't believe you. This is your real film clip. Why would you release this? It's ridiculous. You look stupid. I was <laughs> so just so everyone knows, it was a joke. It was totally a joke. We're being idiots. So uh, this is the song that goes with that idiot film clip. Here we go.
thank you very much. So we had a new song on the uh, on the new release. Kind of wanted to um, have something new out there, so I uh, I wrote this song while I was over in Nashville for Americana uh, with. One of my favourite songwriters of all time, Guy Clark, and one of my other favourite songwriters of all time, Bill Chambers. And we're in the presence of the Bill Chambers room as we speak. So this is all about... Uh, it's all about, like, the, you know, the stuff that goes on kind of behind the scenes. It happens in every business, in every, every world. There's always, you know, people that talk and, and say stuff that uh, majority of the time isn't true or based on something very simple and I kind of got over it so I wrote this song all about it it's called Who Cares?
Ah, oh, thank you so much. It's hot, very hot. How about a big round of applause for uh, these guys up here? Fantastic. So I already kind of told the story behind this song, didn't I? 46 miles from Alice. I um, was heartbroken in Alice Springs, or somewhere near Alice Springs. Matarinka Springs, I think we were. A lot further than 46 miles. <laughs> but um, I've always been really proud of this song. This was my second single released here in Australia. And uh, kind of, I guess, put me out there and launched my career. So here we go. Yeah. 